one of my most anticipated books of 2020 just came out this tuesday i'm officially 100 pages into Addie larue and goodness gracious this book is slow oh my goodness the biggest pigeon i've ever seen just flew past my window i can't deal is this what you want now or is it because you can't forget Hi friends, it's Amber. Happy weekend. Happy end of a long, long week and welcome back to another weekend vlog. It's Friday night. It's a little after 9 o'clock and I normally wait until Saturday morning to start my weekend vlogs just so that I can like decompress from the work week before I jump into content. But this weekend's weekend vlog is a very, very special weekend vlog follow me on instagram you know that one of my most anticipated books of 2020 just came out this tuesday granted a ton of great books came out this tuesday but the book that i am talking about is by one of my all-time favorite authors and that is the invisible life of Addie larue by v.e schwab been anticipating the release of this book since the first time I saw V.E. Schwab tweet about it like literally she just shared I think the concept and maybe she like posted a screenshot of a document that had like 10 words in it and I knew that I needed it instant pre-order but then again V.E. Schwab is one of my all-time favorite authors so pretty much every book that she releases I pre-order and read so the thing about most anticipated books is that there's a lot of expectation i have super high expectations for this book i have super high expectations for every ve schwab book just because i love them all so much and i couldn't fathom not loving this book granted that doesn't mean that i am going to but i am predicting that this is going to be a five star read hands down i'm so excited to read this book I've also just had like a very like hectic work week like I felt really down towards the beginning of the week if you follow me on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram guys what are you doing but you know that I was like starting from Monday just kind of in a mood and definitely got my energy up thanks to my amazing amazing friends and all of you honestly um, and it was kind of on an upswing but like work was a lot this week I just had a lot going on I never felt like I was on top of things i felt like i was constantly playing catch up to myself um i've barely read i if you watched the last weekend vlog you know that i started a book called the book of second chances i'm about 100 pages into that and obviously i'm pausing that so that i can read this um my apartment's not a mess but it's not clean so per use there are dishes in the sink um so i've just been kind of feeling all over the place and i need a weekend to center me because i feel like next week is going to be just as hectic i have a lot of content coming out i have a lot of work responsibilities on top of regular work responsibilities i need to be there for my family you know i didn't talk about this in previous vlogs because it just seemed a little too fresh um but we had a like covid scare we found out that my sister my younger sister had been exposed to someone who had it and then obviously because her she's a freshman in college college is online this year so she's been at home with my dad she was nervous that she had unintentionally exposed him as well they've both tested negative she's still quarantining just to play it safe um but there's just been a lot going on and like my dad has some stuff coming up there's just a lot and i can tell when i'm like sliding off center and i'm definitely at a point where i'm sliding off center so i'm hoping that spending a weekend with addy will help me get back on track so like i said it's after nine now my plan is to just read for the next couple of hours in true amber fashion i have an array of beverages regular water this was sparkling water on ice but all the ice is gone sparkling water this flavor bomb highly recommend so good mostly cranberry not a ton of lime but i think that's why i like it and then i just made a coffee it's decaf because i don't want to be up forever but you know i like to cozy up I am also going to turn the TV on and go on YouTube and turn on one of those ASMR rooms. If you aren't familiar, I made an entire playlist like closer to the top of quarantine with these different ASMR like study rooms for 
people who were missing out on going to coffee shops and getting work done so all of the ones in that playlist are coffee themed or like writing room themed basically if you needed to just like have some kind of music and background noise while you worked but you were missing getting to sit in a cafe for a couple of hours and get things done it was to help you kind of get that similar vibe but i think i'm gonna make a whole other playlist just for cozy fall winter themed reading rooms because I don't know I pers I'm not the kind of reader that always wants to read in straight silence I like a little background noise that's why I kind of miss just going to the library like I would get so much reading done in a library you can get reading done work done I just I can't wait until my library ranch is back open and we can safely go there again but yeah I'm going to probably make a playlist like that I know that my friend Phoebe who I'm doing an Instagram live with tomorrow which I will show you all about that on the vlog um she has a playlist of reading rooms too but there are so many on youtube and i just find them really helpful to have like background noise and a little bit of that like natural like cl like clink and clatter that you would hear when you're out and about doing work but also like stay safe at home and get stuff done so i'm going to put that on i'm going to sip this coffee and everything else and i'm going to start addy i'm super excited about this um because not obviously about this but i'm super excited just to start because one thing that i really love about v schwab and her books is that from page one she pulls you in she's notorious for writing and this is just me as a writer not even just me as a reader i'm so impressed with her ability to write the most impactful first lines should i just should i just see what the first line is i love the cover i'm not gonna lie i like the uk um hardcover better and if i love this book maybe i'll order that but look at the end pages. This is the Barnes & Noble Special Edition. So it may not be in every edition, those end pages. It is really hard to open a hardcover book while you are holding a camera, FYI. So the first like page is like, it looks like a passage, maybe from a diary. And it says, the old gods may be great, but they are neither kind nor merciful. They are fickle, unsteady as moonlight on water or shadows in a storm. If you insist on calling them, take heed. Be careful what you ask for, be willing to pay the price, and no matter how desperate or dire, never pray to the gods that answer after dark. What? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Also, this book is set in France. I think specifically set in Paris. Addie LaRue is a very French name, so you already know this is like my brand. The first, the first line of like the first chapter, a girl is running for her life. All right, I gotta start this book. I will catch up with you all soon. happy saturday so i stayed up later than i thought i would i read about over 50 pages of addy last night and i'm loving it so far i think that this is some of v.e schwab's most like rich writing it's definitely one of her most slower paced books that i've read but i like around the 50 page mark is when we start to like get to the meat um so I'm right now gonna head out actually. It's really nice outside and I think one of the cafes I used to go to all the time in the old days, pre-pandemic, um, is open and has tables outside. I'm gonna go see what the outside like vibe is, how far apart the tables are spaced. Um, if it's crowded, I won't stay, but if it's not, I'm going to sit out there and have coffee and do some reading just because it's so nice out and it's still pretty early and i have a chunk of things i need to get done today but i'd rather start my day off with some slow reading so let's go check that out
it coming at you live from my bed these are my, some of my favorite bookshelves i also have one in my living room i will link it down below because people either think i have a random stack of like precarious books or um they're just very confused about these shelves so i will link it but i wanted to give a quick reading update so i'm officially 100 pages into Addie larue and goodness gracious this book is slow but i'm loving it lately if you guys you know follow the blog and my instagram you know that i've been in the strangest reading mood where it takes me a while to get into a book i haven't been finishing as many books as i do in other months so you know there's been that and slow books don't tend to help with that but i think just because i've been waiting for this book for so long i'm still very into it we just met our second main character henry and i've only read a couple of chapters with him and i'm already like so in love with him i just love the way that v schwab builds her characters everyone is so complex like no one is like a flat character everyone has a lot of depth to them which i really appreciate but it is a little after four it's almost 4 15 and at seven tonight i'm doing an instagram live talking all about my writing plans and my plans for nanowrimo if you're wondering like when are we getting this reading update it is scheduled to be next sunday's video i'm going to talk about all of my preptober plans and honestly if my video plans pan out the way that i think they're going to that may actually come earlier and be like a bonus video next week but i'm doing a live with phoebe of read and write tonight and we're going to talk all about nano and our plans for writing and all of that um our goals how we're preparing all that good stuff so i'm also really really tired so since that live is at seven i'm going to put down addy for now i'm going to run a couple of quick errands i just need to like stop by the grocery store and then i'm gonna come back and try to take a nap <laughs> because I need one so I'm gonna try to take a nap and then wake up in time to eat dinner quickly get ready do the live and then after my live I'm getting right back into comfy clothes and I'm going to finish editing tomorrow's video and then I will pick Addie up and end my night with some more reading so that is my update for this afternoon and I will catch up with you all in a bit it is after 6 p.m. on Sunday I have not updated the vlog at all because this has been a pretty slow Sunday I literally did not get out of bed until almost one o'clock in the afternoon and all I've really done is some content work I just filmed two videos which is why I have this ring light action happening it probably actually looks very weird because of the setup um, and I uploaded a video I edited a video um, lots of YouTube stuff the videos I just filmed I filmed one video about my plans for NaNoWriMo and my Preptober checklist that is going to go up as a bonus video this week. And I did the intro to another video about how, sorry, about how you can start a journaling habit because I get lots of questions about that. So I feel good about that, but oh my goodness, am I exhausted? Like when I woke up this morning, if I didn't want to meet my goal of Wednesday Sunday uploads and get this YouTube video up I probably would have stayed in bed all day long I have not touched Addie LaRue and I'm honestly sad about it I could honestly keep doing work for like another couple of hours but I'm I'm just at a wall <laughs> like I'm ready to lay on my couch I'm ready to read my book I'm ready to take off this lipstick <laughs> I think with this weekend after the work week I had especially has made me realize it's just that like I'm a little bit more burnt out than I was caring to admit and like on Friday I was like my brain is fried I'm gonna read Addie LaRue all weekend and do my creative stuff and like get back on track but I definitely underestimated how much like my brain has not truly shut off in a week or maybe even a week and a half and I have not prioritized rest so it is Sunday night but it's also a long weekend because tomorrow is Indigenous Peoples Day so I don't have work I know I'm gonna have to check in on some work stuff because I have a big work day on Tuesday but I really 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 am going to try to get to bed early and prioritize the rest that I have been denying myself it's just it's so easy to kind of like count yourself off as lazy or 
to just want to do more but like when you allow burnout to run your life you just open yourself up to a lot of other bad things <sighs> sorry i keep changing the angle i forgot to put my little vlog tripod on so i'm just holding the camera but that is my sunday update i'm going to wash my face and i'm going to go pick up addy larue and if i am moved by what i'm reading enough to do another update i will otherwise i will see you all in the morning i just actually posted on instagram asking people because obviously i'm not making anything to eat tonight what should i order for takeout greek or thai and it looks like wow thai is crushing it like you guys have no respect for Greek food, but Thai is always good. So I'm probably going to order this pad Thai from the place that is close by and bring that back and maybe have a glass of wine, even though I think part of the reason why I struggled to get up this morning was because I was a wee bit hungover after my live show with Phoebe because what is the limit? But that is my Sunday update. I hope you all had a great Sunday and I will catch up with you soon. Hey there, it is Editing Amber. I'm obviously in the middle of finishing up editing this vlog and I'm realizing as I go day by day, I wore my girlfriend's like sweatsuit. I got this new like crop top sweatpants set situation almost every single day in this vlog. And I was like, did you really wear the same outfit for an entire weekend and then I realized I absolutely did. I either wore the top with leggings or I wore the full set because it is literally the most comfortable sweatsuit set loungewear piece that I own right now but I just thought it was hilarious that like as I'm going through edits I'm like trying to figure out which clips are which that go on which day and I'm like did you change your outfit so if you're also having a moment where you're like oh my goodness is she still wearing this outfit the answer is yes and I have no regrets okay bye I was obviously filming last night and thought I might film again today so I just didn't put it away yet but it is Monday it's around 1 40 ish um, back in this girlfriend sweatsuit because it's just the most comfortable thing and I feel like if it's a set regardless of it being literal sweatpants and a sweatshirt it just feels like a put-together outfit but oh my goodness the biggest pigeon I've ever seen just flew past my window I can't deal <sighs> anyway i'm about to head out i need to go run a quick errand for work but before i do that i'm meeting up with a friend who i obviously haven't seen in like months because quarantine um we're just gonna get coffee and have lunch so i'm gonna go to sweet green first pick up some salads for us and then we're just gonna chill talk catch up and then run my quick errand and come back before i head out i did want to give a quick reading update so i basically woke up this morning and just jumped right back into reading addy i'm around 200 pages in right now and goodness gracious i love this book i think that anyone who's read any v schwab book before will say that this is probably the slowest paced book she's ever written like i honestly assume that like even though I'd heard people say that it was slow, that I would kind of get through this in a weekend, but this isn't even the kind of book that you'd want to really just get through in a weekend. The writing is so amazing and the slow pace, it's interesting, the slow pace helps to kind of express the sense of urgency that these characters are feeling at the state of their life they're in. It's like so much is happening for them. So much of it is impacted by the turning of time and you having to take the time to work your way through these scenes. It's just like, this book is great. But I do really want to see where we're going. So I'm gonna read more when I get back. I'll probably spend my evening reading instead of watching TV. 
um but that's my reading update i'm definitely gonna order the uk version because i think that the uk version is already out in paperback and personally when i annotate books or like take notes in books and such i like to do that in a paperback copy and there are so many passages that i just want to highlight and get like tattooed on me like the v schwab that woman is great with words but <sighs> yes definitely a slower read and i think that like if this is your first time reading V.E. Schwab, I don't know that I'd recommend starting with this book just because it is so slow and so character driven. While it is amazing, I don't know that this is like the best entry point into her world. Just because I know the way that she does characters, I completely understand that like me being so in the mind and actions of these characters is going to have an immense payoff just because I know her books, I know her writing, um, but maybe not like your first schwab ever so that is my quick update i'm going to go finish grabbing my things just grab a bag real quick and then head out to sweet green and meet up with my friend and i will catch up with you all soon couch again I was able to run my errands I had to pick up this like big poster from FedEx for this work event that I'm having that hopefully won't get rained out and postponed again um, I'm always like carrying huge bags and stuff like down the street they're taller than I am it's a real problem but I just wanted to pop on an update and wrap up this long weekend vlog it's about seven o'clock I'm about to actually run out and pick up some dinner because I started editing when I came back home and just kind of got like in a good flow and completely lost track of time and now I'm starving so I am going to run out grab dinner and then come back and just sit on the couch and read Addie because I'm at, I'm at a point in the book where I'm just like, what is about to happen? I have so many conspiracy theories flying through my head and yeah. So obviously I did not finish the entire book this weekend, but I promise in the next weekend vlog, I will give all of my thoughts and every book that I finish, I always write about in my monthly reading wrap ups on the blog. So all of my thoughts will obviously be there and I'm sure I will, I will do a separate book review for this book because it's literally my most anticipated book of 2020. <laughs> anyway if you made it to this point in the vlog thank you so much for watching as you probably have noticed i spend a lot more time on my weekends editing now just because i'm really trying to stay consistent with uploading twice a week i'm so close to monetizing my channel and i just want to say thank you to all of you especially those of you who've been subscribed since i like first started my youtube channel and didn't really know what i was doing and like <laughs> struggle through videos um i feel like i'm in a really good place right now with youtube and i'm loving doing it and it's just it's nice to be able to see my goals being met and my you know just my targets lining up with the work that I'm doing so thank you so much for all of your support if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing I post new videos every single week I'm actually uploading a video that's a bonus video going up about NaNoWriMo and my writing update right now I just finished editing that um and there's more to come so yeah thank you so much for supporting and for watching links to everything that is mentioned or needs to be linked will be in the description box as well as links to my blog and social media and i will see you all in the next video is this what you want now
Feels like you're looking for something better 